Let's enable it again. You see that the max is not taking the signs into consideration. So now you see we're getting closer and the car brakes and slows down automatically. Hi there and welcome to Techblower and welcome to my car. You're now in my Tesla Model 3 from 2021. If I'm not mistaken, all Teslas have traffic aware cruise control. The earliest Teslas might not have had it, but maybe they had. So first of all, what is traffic aware cruise control? So cruise control is a feature where you can set a certain speed on the car and the car will keep that speed. But traffic aware cruise control, you do the same thing. You set a certain speed of the car, but if a car in front of you slows down, your car will also slow down. Hence traffic aware. So how do you enable traffic aware cruise control on a Tesla? So in my Model 3, you simply find the speed you want to be in and drag down the right stock once and traffic aware cruise control is set. There is a setting though, if you have autopilot enabled, that you might have to drag down twice to enable traffic aware cruise control. But I will go through that in another video on autopilot. So on newer Model 3s, they don't have these stocks. So how do you enable traffic aware cruise control on those cars? Well, you simply use the right scroll wheel and click it once to enable traffic aware cruise control. As simply as that. So instead of just talking about it, let's try it out. So now we're coming into a larger road, driving out, driving outside the town. And we have the sign here, 80, and the car will read the signs. We see that the screen said 85 max. And that is the speed that the cruise control will be set at when I enable it. So let's enable cruise control. So I can take my foot off the pedal and just steer the car. And it will keep a speed of 85 unless a car in front of me slows down. Let's see if that happens. Now you also see that we have some construction in front of us and we have some temporary signage and the car will read the signs but on traffic aware cruise control it won't lower the speed automatically. So I have to press the brakes and disable traffic aware cruise control to keep the set speed while this construction is going on. Let's enable it again. You see that the max is not taking the signs into consideration. Just the max, just the speed that I'm driving at. So now we have a sign of 70 and the sign on the display changes again. But now I want to be five kilometers over the speed limit. So how do I do that? Yeah, you simply use the right scroll wheel and scroll fast up. Then you see that the max goes up by five kilometers. You can also go slowly and lower it one kilometer at a time. But I usually do the quick one up to get five more kilometers on the speed. So as you saw earlier, I disengaged the traffic aware cruise control simply by pressing the brakes. But you can also just lift up the stock and then dis disengage it as well. So now it's not enabled and I can simply drag down once to re-enable it. And as you saw, traffic aware cruise control sets the speed that I'm in. So I was driving at 77 km per hour and now the max is set at 77. So let's see what happens when we get a 90 sign. Here we go. The speed goes up to 90 on the sign, but traffic aware cruise control does not increase its speed. So I have to use the right scroll wheel and increase it to 95. I usually have it five kilometers per hour over the speed limit. And now the car will keep the speed unless another car in front of me slows down. So while traffic aware cruise control is enabled, I can change lane without dis disengaging it. So I simply put my turn signal on, change the lane. You see that 
traffic aware cruise control is still on we still have the max in blue here and then I can just change lanes back no problems so while using traffic aware cruise control I still have to steer the car I can't take my hands off the steering wheel and then the car will just go out of the road so here you can see I can put my turn signal on and turn off the road it still keeps the speed so I'll drag the stock up and disengage traffic aware cruise control so it seems like the cars in front of me are slowing down a little bit we are approaching the construction zone so let's see what the traffic aware cruise control does when the cars in front of me slow down so here we have a 70 sign so technically I should slow down to 70 but let's see what the car does so now you see we're getting closer and the car brakes and slows down automatically I'm not touching the brake pedal I'm just steering the car so this works perfectly keeping a good distance as well you can change how far the car is to the cars in front of you just by changing the distance with the right scroll wheel but now by clicking it to the right or to the left I'm clicking it to the right now decreasing the distance now it's set to 2 clicking it to the left will increase the distance like this it's not saying exactly uh, it's uh, 50 meters it's just numbers so now you can see that the car keeps a larger distance to the next car so if I decrease it again to let's say 3 then it should speed up a little bit to get closer to the car and put it to 2 yeah now it's speeding up and getting a little bit closer to the car in front of me so that's really handy so the right scroll wheel is used both to increase the speed and to adjust the distance between you and the next car scrolling up to change the speed right and left to change the distance to the next car in front of you and you notice that I haven't changed the speed that is set for the crew traffic aware cruise control because the car is simply keeping its distance to the cars in front of me so now we're almost out of the construction zone so the cars in front of me should speed up again and thus my car should speed up as well see it's speeding slowly up but I'm gonna decrease the speed limit of the traffic over cruise control to 85 because the speed limit now on the road is 80 we don't want to be speeding then I'm gonna disengage traffic over cruise control because I'm gonna take this route here and as you can see we can use traffic over cruise control inside the town it's fine but I don't usually do that unless there is heavy traffic and I don't want to keep my foot on the accelerator so this was a quick video on how to use traffic aware cruise control on a Tesla Model 3 and it's quite similar on other Teslas I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share See you in my next video.